Let's talk some college. What do you have for me here, uh, Brockman? Give it to give the poll question to Brady Quinn, please. All right, Brady, talking about the college football playoff, which team that's in the top four right now most likely to be left out? Alabama, Clemson, Washington, and Michigan. Uh, most likely to be left out. Does that include, like, losing? Uh, I Just, think you're looking at Washington and the road they have to go to get there. And given how much parity there is in you know, competition there is in the Pac-12, that's a team that you know, I would be a little bit concerned by. Um, you look at the, the rest of the schedule. They still have the Apple Cup coming up. They got USC this weekend. Then they got the Pac-12 championship, and that could either be a rematch versus Utah, which we saw was basically a they had a punt return to win that game, but it was a close game. Or it could possibly be USC, depending on how this week's game goes. Um, if, if they found their way back in that picture, or Colorado is playing really well at this point in the season. So Washington, to me, is kind of the team that could very likely get bounced out or left out, uh, given the schedule and the possibility of losing. And really, the other team is maybe Michigan because they still have that matchup versus Ohio State at the end of the year. And, and that, getting into the Big Ten East tie-breaking scenario, it's just kind of nuts and will be too long-winded right now. But at this point in time, those are kind of the two teams that I, I think have the toughest road and could potentially get left out because of their schedules. But if I gave you the option of none of the above, would you choose that? Do you think this, this could be the, the four that we get about a month and a half from now? Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, you're looking at, again, four of what, what I thought should have been the top four teams last week. There's all this criteria and the stuff that the committee comes up with, I think, just to kind of make the, the you know, each week the rankings a little bit more traumatic. I think that's why you saw NM in there in the first place. People can say they're strength the schedule or the fact that they scheduled a, a tough non-conference opponent in UCLA and then they kind of get brownie points for that or whatever. But if that was your criteria, then why wouldn't you put Ohio State over Washington now at number four because they're three and one versus top 25 ranked teams. They've got a tougher strength of schedule than Washington. So it's just not very consistent, but I guess nothing's consistent anymore in life nowadays, whether you're talking about officiating the rankings or anything else that's going on in this world. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.